peace be with you and welcome back to my channel here for another zodiac reading for aquarius if you're new to the channel i say hey hi and hello come on in have some spring water have a little snack eat some fruit whatever you feel that you need to do i support you in that energy this is going to be for the zodiac sign general energy for aquarius these are for those people that are vibrating high i gotta get prepared for y'all aquarius because sometimes y'all be having some stuff going on. I'm like, oh my God. Do I need to go cleanse first before I start Aquarius? Listen, I pray that you come in with your higher self. I call up in the highest of white lights. Anything other than that, Holy Spirit, we just return it back to its native state of absolutely nothing. We call in the white light. Show us what we need to see about Aquarius. I just heard you have a decision to make, Aquarius. Could be dealing with an, um, an Aries or a Capricorn, okay? I just heard that you have a decision to make and you know what the decision is and you already know what decision you're going to make. Wow, you, you're clear about what you need to do. Show me Aquarius, Archangel Michael, please and thank you. Why am I picking up that energy? What type of choice? This is about taking a leap of faith. Something that Spirit is guiding you to do that you need to really adhere to by way of being obedient yeah you could be holding on to something right now yeah four of pentacles represents you either holding on to something financially before you close this door whatever this is this is the end of a cycle you two are walking away from people that are not of your lineage and when i mean lineage i mean by way of what your soul tribe is the way that your soul is set up you're like mm -mm, i'm holding back my energy closing out these cycles you could be saving your money to make this move. Spirit says, this is very, very wise. All eyes on me. I just heard by Tupac. Tupac, all eyes on me. Everybody's watching you. Everybody's watching you and spying and gossiping and trying to figure out what the hell you're doing. Page of Swords. People want to come back in. They want to give you some type of an offer. But you've changed. And so now they have to really get to know you again, Aquarius. <laughs> They really do. You're like, who, who is it that you need me to be? I don't understand what you're saying. Let's make this make sense. Yeah, Aquarius. Y'all are not playing. It's a very honest energy I feel from you. Very honest. You know, yeah, you're manifesting something good. You're manifesting something good. You absolutely are. Somebody could be doing some type of spell work on you too. To mess with your psyche, your intuition, the moon and the magician is giving me that energy. And also the page of swords, which lets me know there could be some form of a monitoring spirit that somebody has around you. Whatever the hell is going on, it doesn't matter. You're the empress. I'm being guided to take that for Aquarius. You are the empress. You are chosen. You could be doing something by way of art, singing, clothing line, makeup, hair. Okay. Love is definitely here. Whoever this lover is, the Most High is guiding you to go to a distance. You could be uh, in some position where you feel as though you need to go away from where you're at, at a distance. That will be very successful if you are obedient to that hunch, to that spiritual hunch that Spirit is giving you to go at a distance. There's love there. There's genuine people because you're leaving some people behind with this world card. And the Four of Pentacles also represents you holding back your energy from people that are coming in with breadcrumb ass offers. They're absolutely spying. At a distance, there's a lot of love there, but you're manifesting this. And the Ace of Swords says, what I'm saying is the damn truth, Aquarius. Ain't nobody got time. Sun at the bottom of the deck, you could be involved with a Leo. Don't necessarily have to be, or you're just giving off the energy that you want to be happy. Show me more for Aquarius. What else is going on? Yeah. You went within. You checked yourself. Virgo energy. You went within. You went within and was like, hold up. Everybody around me is teaching me something about myself, including my enemies. Let me go ahead and just take note and then figure out what it is that I need to see. Listen, you are not playing out here in these spiritual streets. If they don't stop messing with you, Aquarius, Aquarius. They better put some respect on your damn high vibrational ass name. You're, you're the empress. You're the ace of swords. You are the high priestess. 
You are the seven of wands, which means you are very, 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 very highly protected. So whoever was doing this moon magic by way of spying on you energetically, it's going to go from hell to a handbasket. They're going to hell in a handbasket. It's a shit show. They totally screwed up. They should have ne I cannot make the shit up. Listen, spirit got their ass hanging out to dry. This was a failed attempt. Somebody tried their hand, did something real big by way of, I'm getting a hex. Somebody wanted to spy on you, hex your love life, hex your, uh, you know, just your endeavors and what it is that you're doing with other people by way of meeting people. They wanted to block that. This shit was an all, all just blown out shit show. I don't even think you felt it. With all this spiritual protection, your instincts were telling you something. You could have had a dream about this person. You absolutely did have a dream and you knew that justice was coming. Mayada's in the building. You are the leader. You took your life by the spiritual balls and you said, I'm going to a distance wherever you're thinking to go. Different state, different place. Spirit says the most high's hand is guiding you. The ace of cups. The most high says I'm guiding your entire energy. Your steps because you're being obedient to me. Walking in truth. Listening to your intuition as the high priestess. Listening to your intuition as the empress. Keep in mind a masculine can embody this feminine energy as well. And vice versa. Because there's no gender in tarot. We know the spirit world is not a prejudiced world. It is based on energies. It is based on polarities. It is based on past lifetimes. You got a lot of divine protection around you with this temperance card. Okay. A Sagittarius also could be very significant. Somehow, some way, shape or form. Who is the Sagittarius that I'm picking up on? Yeah. Somebody coming in with a cup of love. You could have a choice between two lovers. This could be somebody from your past that wants you back, Aquarius. You could have a choice because the Knight of Cups is here. Whoever this Sagittarius is, when I asked about them, they're choosing you. They could have had a choice between two and chose somebody else, but now they choose you and now you got a choice between the two. Spirit is saying, mm, wherever you're going at a distance, that's where the love is, honey. Somebody's weighed down about the fact that you very well could not be coming back. They're finally starting to wrap their penny little minds around the fact that you could very well not be coming back. And this in itself is torment. This in itself puts this person in the Ten of Wands energy. This person wants to come back and reunite with you. But I don't know if you're going to be in the same zip code. Okay. What you have coming is far too good. You got a new beginning, and this is a gift from the Most High. This ain't no rinky-dinky-ass gift, and you're going to be prosperous. Whatever it is, you will be okay in terms of your stability, in terms of what you need. Ooh, 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 Aquarius. That was a little commercial break. Listen, the Empress here, you could be dealing with an Aries. This could be the new person at a distance. Who knows? Whatever it is, you're manifesting them and they're manifesting you. And this is why the two will come together. I cannot make it up. Right up under that is the lovers. It's a divine union. Everybody's under judgment. I can't make it up. After you put this death to this death of the past and move on and go follow this hunch. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow that yellow brick road, Aquarius. Listen to your inner self. Your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is telling you, loving and caring, a new beginning. There's a lot of love in this twin, real twin dynamic or whatever this is. This high level passionate soulmate, two people that are simultaneously manifesting each other at the same time. Although they could not have very well encountered each other in the physical as of yet. You absolutely do know this person from the spirit realm. Hence the fact that the six of cups lets me know that this is not your first lifetime with this lover that is coming into your life. It'll be a very organic energy, very familiar energy. This is a past life soulmate who has now come into your path. The paths are intersecting by way of what you're manifesting in order for you both to come together to do something for the greater good of God, the most high God. Yeah, this is a divine union. Yeah. Okay. 
You both could silently bow out gracefully. You both could be sneaking away and it's coming off as very sneaky and deceptive. Okay. And the seven of swords energy, wherever this partner is, this partner's pretty much gone through something very similar to what you've gone through. Okay. And you will have this new beginning. This is destiny. Nobody can stop this. You will have this new beginning as gifted to you by way of the most high God. Again, you're going to have a choice between two. It is about free will, but whatever is at a distance is something that you can't even imagine. It is the calmer waters. It is the peace after the storm. It is the peace after the storm. That's exactly what it is. I'm just seeing new, new business, new everything, new house, new. Yeah, you're manifesting this. If by way of a vision board or positive affirmations, you're definitely going to do this. And you're supposed to be in the public eye, um, Aquarius. Whatever you're doing, it needs to be in the public eye, my love. You are the empress. Spirit says how many times we have to tell you, you are the empress. You're to be respected. You're very delicate, heavy on the masculine Aquarius energy as well. Okay, you're to be respected. Show me more, Holy Spirit. Show me what else I need to see. Yeah, everything is fine. Ten of Swords, you're fine with the way things have turned out. You accept it. At first, it was a bit shocking. You could have gone through the dark night of the soul and with a slight case of PTSD. Welcome to the awakening, my beautiful high priestess. This is just the way that it is, Empress. Okay, but Spirit is saying that everything is fine. Yeah, you're very, 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 very spiritually protected with the seven of wands here. Your divine ancestors are saying we are with you and we're whooping ass simultaneously as we're congratulating you, as we're celebrating you in the ethers, as if they can find time to do that after whooping so much spiritual ass on your behalf. They're clearing your path, Aquarius. These are some high vibrational Aquariuses, honey, baby. Somebody wants to be a doula. You want to sit with pregnant women and when they give birth, listen, somebody's in regret about what they did. Somebody wanted to blind you from the truth. Okay. The spell is worn off or whatever the hell that was. You're coming up as the Hierophant. Somebody could have also gotten a practitioner to do some type of spell work towards you. Again, by way of that magician in that moon, little did they know they're trying to do magic on the master magician, which is you. You are the Hierophant. This person wants to come in now and tell you the truth. This person from the past and they want to be married. Okay? Just so you know. But again, moving forward, taking that leap of faith, Aquarius, there is something brand new for you. And it is a wish fulfillment. Could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, and or Scorpio. Okay? Again, you could have a choice between two new people. I just feel as though you're giving off this radiance that's making people want to know you, you know, show me Aquarius. Yeah. After walking away, it's like everybody's enamored with your energy right now. The people that you've walked away from are in awe. They're stalking. They're obsessing. They can't believe you walked away. They're obsessing with the fact of how you walked away and you did it very quietly. And then you got the new people that just want to get to know you because of the energy that you're giving off. You are the high priestess. As soon as you enter the room, you already know what it is. And you're graciously approaching your throne. That is your spot. This is your time, Aquarius. In the age of mother freaking Aquarius, put some respect on Aquarius's name. Right now. Right now. Right now. Virgo energy, you've purified yourself. You're embodying every single zodiac. You've mastered fire, water, and earth, and air. You absolutely have. You went within during the hermit mode, and you found yourself. And you're grateful that you did. Yeah. You went through a cold-ass dark night of the soul, and all you had were your angels. You went through this nine of swords. This was your dark night of the soul. And then you got delivered. Temperance is here. This person, this ex really thrusted you more and more into that dark night of the soul spirit says it didn't have to be that hard but again it is the company that we keep sometimes that person loved to keep up conflict wherever this fire sign energy is possible sagittarius
He's clarifying himself twice here. Heavy on the masculine Sagittarius. Okay. That person. And you walked away from it. It was in divine order. You're like, I'll evaluate what just happened between us once I get to where I'm going. But I'm out this bitch. And I'm out. Who's going to stop me? 1515 as I said that. Right? Who's going to stop me? Like, what, what do they think this is? One more for please, Aquarius. Aquarius, please and thank you. Please and thank you, holy. Yeah. You got new unions. You got good people around you. People that really want to give you equal give and take. Soul tribe members. Fair people. People that are doing the right thing by you and you're doing the right thing by them. And justice is here. And nobody can deny that. If they want to talk, let them. What you have going on here, Aquarius, is a beautiful death transformation and a rebirth. And not only that, you manifested something wonderful out of this. You absolutely did. This is your retribution, Aquarius. This is your reading, though. Listen, I love you. I'm just coming through real quick, Aquarius, to drop a couple of love bombs to my high vibrational Aquariuses. I know I got off on in being in spiritual court. And so today I needed to do the Zodiac sign readings. Thank you all for your beautiful love donations and for being so patient with me on this journey. I have to get to other readings. I guess I'll do, I don't know who I'm going to do next. I never know who I'm going to do until the camera comes on and I just hear it. Like when I came on, I heard Aquarius. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, Aquarius. And that's what I do. That's how it works. That's really how it works, Aquarius. <laughs> Whether they believe me or not, it doesn't matter. The most high knows. That's just how it works. I love you, Aquarius. Wherever you are on this beautiful planet, I know that you are filling your position as you should, being radiant, being the high priestess. I always come in peace. And until the next video, as always, peace be with you.